What's up, God? Quick reading on Mercury retrograde. I just want to get a feel for all signs to see what we can expect for this retrograde. There is a lot of I, fear, fear mongering and fear as it pertains to what to expect on Mercury retrograde. A lot of misinformation and I just want to do a reading on it. So this tarot reading will be getting insight into what we should expect from Mercury retrograde and any advice spirit has for us as it pertains to it. So without further ado, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Did something come out already? Dang, I know I heard something try to come. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. And before I pull the tarot card, I want to pull the energy. Um... Do I want more knowledge or do I want more energy? My pull bulb. So, like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. Thank you for watching. Alright, so let's see what Mercury or Joker has for us overall. Ooh, that flew out. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Release negativity. It's time to release negativity. <laughs> Full moon in Scorpio. Okay, so this retrograde period is during that of Scorpio. We know um, Scorpio is karmic energy. So find balance within ourselves. Stay balanced and release negativity but let me read on full moon in pisces to see what it says well it stopped on full moon in scorpio first so let me read some of that hmm it's time to release any negativity you you have around the situation you're asking about that is so perfect for this reading because i see a lot of negative comments and a lot of negativity regarding Mercury retrograde and I can't imagine that it's so negative we know that it impacts technology and communication and things of that sort but some of the stuff that's being said is just like why are you telling people that that's you know I don't know how true that is so that's what this reading is about but anyway first and foremost release negativity in your life and release negativity as it pertains to this retrograde it's not negative two if someone that has been unkind to you release them so we're not allowing karmics back into our life we know that retrogrades can sometimes bring back karmics and people from our past but people being unkind to us we're no longer allowing them in our lives okay so it could be some intense energy during this re retrograde as well. So remember to guard yourself and to remove yourself from toxicity and to take care of your feelings and your emotions. And for some, however, this card is a totally different meaning. Um, your sex life can improve. If you make an effort, use your magic. And it says, let something go in the end of an argument. All right. So let's read on full moon in Pisces. Okay, follow your intuition. So during this retrograde period, I guess, um, it will require us to be very intuitive and to follow our intuitions. If you're in a tricky situation, drop the act. Move towards your goals take practical steps towards our goals and find an inner balance between spirituality and practicality, meditation and reality. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So what I'm getting from here is regular retrograde stuff, follow our intuition, be in tune with who we are, make intuitive decisions, if people or toxic people from our past tries to come into our life we're releasing that negativity we're not allowing it back into our lives and we're protecting and guarding ourselves against toxicity of the past carrying connections on the bottom of the deck of the energy oracle card adding that <laughs> carrying connections 
house is out with the old and in with the new. With Karen Connections coming out. It could be the coming together of dualities or the coming together of those that care. Friendship, partnership of two. This card shows a tender embrace, the woman holding the blossom of new love. This reveals a caring connection, usually between two people. In the beginning, a deepening of kindred spirit friendship or the appearance of a new love. It could also signify a new business partnership. Remember, um, they say when you sign a contract, don't merge retrograde. It's not that you avoid contracts. It's that you're careful. You read, th read them thoroughly and ensure that you, you understand them properly. When people tell people don't sign contracts and stuff, like, that's silly as fuck to me. Like, you can't just not live or during a period. But you can overview it look over it very carefully i know that this mercury retrograde energy is real i mean i've literally booked the flight booked the flights to the wrong city doing the retrograde and i don't know why i did that and technology was messing up for no apparent reason so it was like okay my mercury retrograde i mean the energy is real so if a partnership comes up or if a contract of a business partnership comes just look at the Look through it thoroughly. Don't avoid signing anything. Hmm. We have daughter romance. We have daughter personal healing and happiness. So for the fact that all three of these came, per caring connections, daughter romance, daughter personal healing and happiness. This could be marriage. This can be some fall weddings happening. This could be. Um, our lives taking a turn, bringing us to a better place. Then we have balanced spirituality and practicality here. That's twin flame energy. So this could be coming together of souls. The coming together of souls, um, internally and externally, perhaps becoming one with yourself and one with your partner and taking it to the next level. And the, yes, because listen, we got six and seven here. It's like five, 14 is the five, 33 is six and 34 is seven. Five, six, seven. That's like a leap. That's like four progress, but like a leap. One, two, three is like taking a step at a time, but five, six, seven is like you take a leap and it progresses your life forward. So even though Mercury is retrograding, we know that our lives can still take a leap because we're balanced. We're balancing spirituality and practicality, removing negativity from our lives, and, and we're out with the old and in with the new. So I can expect, or you can expect, for progress in your life during this retrograde period. It says, new beginnings in your personal life. This is the one that says that. It says, new beginnings in your personal life. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. So we can expect good things to happen during this retrograde period. Even though Mercury is retrograding, our lives are moving forward. Mercury isn't stopping our lives from moving forward. And we can also expect new beginnings in love. Possibly to a flame partnership. But whether you're looking for a new relationship or more love in a relationship you're in, this door with a heart opens up a new beginning in that experience. New love may be arriving. Brought together by a strong connection. This may be a call from a past life or it could be something new. But energetically, this relationship already exists. Make sure you're projecting the kind of self-love that you want to receive from others. Interesting. So... This look like new beginnings, entering a new phase for progress in your life, taking a leap though, a big for progress in your life, and new love. So, so far, and release the negativity. So far, Spirit has given us good messages in regards to what to expect when Mercury retrograde. And I'm going to pull some tarot and I'm going to pull Uno cards to get a numerological message or a color message or additional spiritual messages. I'll take it. I don't like when my cards drop um, because one time I had lost two cards and I couldn't use this for a while. But okay, so we get justice. So during this Mercury retrograde period, we can expect something to come back into order in our lives. Our lives are being back ordered. So maybe some of our lives have been out of order. 
sometimes maybe um, there was something in our lives that was imbalanced or out of order. Mercury retrograde period is bringing that back to balance. Maybe it was too much giving and not receiving or it was something being overdone. But either way, it's bringing our lives back to balance with this it was once out of balance and now it's bringing back into balance then we have the strength it was in reverse so i'm gonna keep it there and i think the reason why i like this is because the strength card to me it signifies a time of you know overcoming something overcoming an obstacle overcoming an, a hump but now with it in reverse it's like finally overcame that hump and now you can let your guards down it's like finally things progressing and moving forward. You get that push forward, bringing things back into balance where you don't have to be overcoming an obstacle or getting over a hump because you already overcame it. It's like going up the hill is when you need the strength card. But when you go down the hill, you have the strength. You know, it's easier because gravity literally pushes you. Um, Hierophant. We, we already have twin flame energy here. This is twin flame energy as well. We have caring connections here, door to world masses here, door to personal healing and happiness, and we got the balance for the scales. It looks like a partnership comes together and it's very committed. A committed relationship, a committed partnership, something very committed comes into your life. It could be the dualities of yourself, bringing in new opportunities, but whatever it is, it's a solid commitment coming through. Then we have, um, and then we have six here, which is also balanced. So yeah, this solid commitment is definitely coming through. This eight, um, I'm going to clarify this. So I'm going to do this last. Then we have the page of pentacles, which is new beginnings and in career, new beginnings and some sort of new beginning in your life. We already got that from the sort of personal healing and happiness and here. So we can expect some sort of new beginning. And when we release the old and release the toxic energy, we make room for more positive things and more positive people. When you let go of people from your past, you make room for better people for your future or at least better people for that time period. So far, this is all good energy for retrograde. And we're warned not to allow toxic energy in. So let's figure out, let's pull clarifying cards for this Eight of Swords because what is that about? I can say that it's about um, overcoming the obstacles and being set free. But I, I just don't want to seem like I'm being overly positive. I'll take them. I want, to, I want it to be about, um, I just wanted more clarification. So now we have the world. Everything coming full circle. I like this card because it's like sitting on top of the world. And guess what? It's right under their justice. We are getting justice, baby. We are finally getting the justice that we deserve. We're getting justice. That That's twice so far that I've seen the justice card. But we're sitting on top of the world. Why? Because things finally manifested. Things finally happened for us. And I'm glad I did this reading because psychologically and subconsciously, sometimes with all the messages online and all the people, we can start to think that negative things are going to happen because it's retrograding. Mercury is retrograding. But no, we're still sitting on top of the world. Still. So I was clarifying this. So that makes me feel like this is not negative energy. This is releasing from bondage. Transition. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about this. Death and a transition. So it's like things ending and things beginning. A transition. Your life transitioning from, again, the old to the new. New beginnings. Transformation. Um, balance. Just a new way of living. A new way of life. A life transition period. And not transitioning in the, in the sense of this could look like a loss. This could look like a loss. With the Five of Cups here and the Death card and the Transitioning card, this could look like a loss, but I feel like this is, um, and then with the Four of Cups here, so it's like Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six, uh, Four, Five, Six, Four, Five, Six, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of um, Swords, and the Death card. Endings and New Beginnings. Endings, New Beginnings. 
um, bringing everything full circle, a cycle being completed, and moving forward in your life. So I just want to look up four, five, six. So far we got five, six, seven, and four, five, six. So we're definitely taking a leap. And it's not a leap of faith. It's a leap in our life. It's a leap. It's a progressive leap in our life. You cannot make this shit up. What does that say? It says, angel number 456 can suggest a promotion, pay raise, or career change. Trust that these positive changes have been divinely guided. Indicates your actions and intentions to change your life for the better are supported and encouraged by the angelic and spiritual realms. So again, progression. We're progressing. So this, this tied up energy here is a... Don't allow yourself to be tied up mentally when things start changing because it's positive. It's it's for the, your good. Um, trust that these positive changes have been divinely guided. So it's no reason to feel all tied up. It's no reason to be in bondage mentally, spiritually, or physically because these changes, this transition that's happening in your life is divinely guided. Yeah, four, five, six. Um, is a divinely guided change and promotion. So whatever happens in this Mercury retrograde period is divinely guided and you're being promoted. It's transforming your life. And I just want to look up, um, even though I know I already said what it was about, let's just see what this says. Ooh. Angel number 567 is a sign of positive progress, spiritual awakening, and advancements on all levels. Remember I said it's like a leap, it's like a push. It's like you're pushed into a spiritual and, and physical um, progress in all levels of your life. But it says continue to apply your commitment towards being your true self and others. So and it relates to angel number nine, which is divine blessings and divine guides and divine gifts. So it's like four, five, six, progress, pay promotion in your career, five, six, seven, a promotion in all aspects of your life, forward movement in all aspects of your life, becoming one with the dualities of yourself, lots of twin flame energy here, being committed to your true self and um, spiritual awakening progress. This is all positive changing, positive changing, changes coming into our lives during this Mercury retrograde period. So it's really nothing to worry about. It's, it's definitely gonna be good for us and a very positive change for our lives. Glad I did this reading because I really need to reassurance myself. Sometimes we have to protect ourselves against the spells cast upon our thoughts. With all the chatter it is online and the misinformation about people who are just learning about Mercury retrograde, now it's like you, my mind can be put at ease because we can expect new beginnings. We can expect transformation and forward progress on immense levels during this period. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Like, subscribe, comment, share. I really appreciate you. Please share, share, share so people can know there's nothing to worry about. Good times are near. Good times are here. I wish you all love, light, and more life. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.